Hi everybody, my name is Arthur and welcome to another Pixel Pet tutorial. We are coding our Fruit Slashers game, right? Last class we added the banana to our game and in this class we're gonna make this banana to move. And how can we make this banana to move? Well, first we have to understand how Pixel Pad works. So here's how Pixel Pad works. So imagine that this rectangle is our game screen, right? It's the same size of our game screen and our game screen is divided in two axes. We have the Y axis, that is this axis up and down, right? I drew an arrow up, but it can also go down. And we also have the X axis, that is right and left, right? So why do I have these two arrows pointing up and pointing right if we can also go left and we can also go down? So let's understand here, first, Whenever I create my banana inside the game, you can see here on our game, whenever I press play, my banana is created right in the middle of the game, right? And that's because this middle of our game is the position zero, zero. What does that mean? That means that it's zero on the X and zero on the Y. So this is the middle position of my game. If I want to bring my banana to the right, for example, you can see that the right arrow is the same arrow as my X arrow, right? It's not the same as my Y. So that means that I have to move my banana on the X axis only. And as the two arrows are pointing to the same way, so that's a plus. So that means that I have to increase my X to move my banana to the right side. So if I change uh, this X value here, for example, uh, from 0 to, let's say, 200, then my banana would come uh, to this position here, more or less, okay? So this would be, for example, the position 200x, 0y. So that's because I moved 200 on the x, but I haven't moved on the y, right? So then my banana moved to the right. So how could I bring my banana to the left instead? So... Oh, this is x plus. Uh, so if I'm bringing it to the left, you can see that it's still uh, on the x axis. I'm not moving it up or down. I'm moving it to the left now, right? And to the left, we're also going to change the x. But instead of increasing the x, you can see that the two arrows are not pointing to the same way. So that's a minus. That means that I have to decrease my x value to go to the, to the left. So if here is zero, to bring my banana to the left here, I would give it a value less than zero. What is less than zero? Any negative number, right? So if I put here minus 150, for example, and zero on the, on the Y axis, I change my X to be uh, minus 150, right? And this is bringing my banana to the left side. Here's my banana now, right? So the same thing happens if we want to go up or down. So if I'm going up, you can see that I change my Y axis, right? And as the two arrows are pointing to the same way, that's a plus. So I have to increase my Y to go up and to go down. That's also the Y axis, right? And the two arrows are not pointing to the same way. So that's a minus. So to bring it up, I have to increase my Y and to bring it down, I have to decrease my Y. Okay, so how can we uh, change those values inside Pixel Pad? How can I make my banana to move right or left or up or down uh, using X and Y positions? So that's pretty simple. Here you can see that we've changed our banana's sprite, right? And to change the banana's X and Y position, we can just use the same format here. So we use the name of our object, right? So my banana object dot, and then the property that I want to change. So here we changed the property sprite of my banana. I said that this is a new sprite from the banana file, banana.png file, right? And now I want to change my banana's X position. So banana.x is going to be something. If I just leave zero here, you can see that whenever I stop and play my game, my banana is still on the same position. It hasn't changed anything, right? Because as I said, the banana starts on the position zero. So if I want to increase, uh, if I want to bring my, my banana to the right, I have to increase my X 
as we saw here to go to the right x plus so that means that I have to increase my x so what is bigger than zero I could put here 200 for example so banana.x equals 200 whenever I stop and play my game my banana goes to the right and if I put it here a uh, smaller number smaller than zero so let's say minus 300 then my banana should go to the left side right if I want to bring my banana up what do I have to do? Let's see on sketchpad here. We have to increase the y axis. So let me go back to pixel pad here. I'll add a new line and I'll say banana dot y is gonna be, so zero is the main position, right? So I haven't changed anything. If I want to increase it, let's use here 250, for example. So it brings my banana up. If I wanna bring it down, a smaller number, so minus 300. I stop and play, my banana is down there, right? So we can move our objects around inside our game by changing their X and Y positions, right? So I'm gonna remove these two lines from here so my banana can start in the middle. And what I want to do is I don't want to just set my banana's position. So I don't wanna just say banana.y is gonna be 200 to bring it up. Right? I don't want to do that. Instead, I want my banana to keep updating its position and increasing its Y position to go up and up and up and up and keep going up. Right? So, if I'm going to keep refreshing my banana again and again and again and again and again and again, that's repeating, right? That's in loop. So, if we're looping certain behavior, we should do this code inside the loop tab because the loop tab keeps repeating our code right? And if I want to change my banana's Y position, how can I do that to keep changing my banana Y position every time again and again and again, so I can move my banana around. So to do that here on the start position, on the loop tab, I mean, I will change my banana's Y position, right? So I can say that my banana dot Y is going to be something different now. So if I want to keep increasing my banana's y position, I cannot just say here, for example, banana.y equals six, let's say, because then I would just send my banana to the position six, and this would keep repeating, and my banana will always be on the position six. But instead, I want to increase one in my banana's position every loop. So how can I do that? So I can say that my banana's y position is gonna be the same as my banana's uh, y position uh, dot y plus one. So I'm saying whatever my y position of my banana was before, now it is gonna be that position plus one. So my banana starts in zero, right? On the y, my banana starts in zero. So now my banana y is gonna be zero plus one. Then my banana will go up a little bit. And then on the next loop, it's gonna be, my banana y is gonna be one plus one, because now my banana y is one, right? So now it's gonna be two. And then this will keep repeating and repeating and repeating, and this will keep bringing my banana up and up and up. But if you try playing our game, you can see that it gives us an error, or many errors, because this is on the loop tab, right? So this keeps repeating and this keeps giving uh, us errors. So the error is name banana is not defined in game loop online one. So it's saying that it doesn't know what banana is, which is odd, right? Because we just created our banana on the star tab here. We say that the banana is a fruit. And here we can change the banana sprite. So why can't we change the banana Y position here on the loop tab? That's because these two tabs, uh, they work separately. So whatever I start, whatever I write on the star tab, my loop tab doesn't really know that I have written it there. So we need a way to tell my loop tab that a have, I have created a banana and this is my banana, right? So how can I do that? So here on the start tab, I can tell my loop tab that I, ha that I have a banana by adding game dot before my banana's name. So my banana's name changed now. Now I cannot just call my banana as banana. Now my banana's name is game dot banana. I'm saying that my banana is inside my game now. And when I say that, then I can access it from the loop tab. Then the loop tab can know that I have a banana inside my game. But this changed something because whenever I changed the name of my banana to game.banana, 
Now I cannot just call my banana as banana down here. You can see that whenever I stop and press play now, it doesn't even have a sprite, my banana anymore, because it bugged, right? It says that banana is not defined in game start line two. So it's saying that here it doesn't know what banana is. But because now my banana is called game.banana. So here I have to change to game.banana. Right, so now my start tab is the same, but I still not moving my banana on the loop tab. But that's simple because our banana's name is not banana anymore. That's now game.banana. And here as well, so my game.banana.y, so the position y of my banana inside the game is now gonna be the y position of my banana inside the game plus one. So now you can see that when I stop, and play my game. Uh, it's give uh, give me an error. I had not true banana. Oh, <laughs> I mistyped here. So it's banana. So game dot banana y equals game dot banana y plus one. Yeah. So now whenever I stop and play, you can see that my banana starts going up. So now it knows what game banana is, right? So that's how we can access my object from other tabs. We just have to add the game dot before it. Okay, so now we have our banana in our game and it is always going up, right? And that's because we are always changing the Y position and we are always increasing it in one, right? It doesn't matter. So here on the uh, on pixel pad, you can see that I'm always increasing my banana's Y position in one. But if you want to make this banana to fall at some point, we cannot just keep increasing one and one and one and one forever, right? We need something to pull our bananas down. So you can see that my banana's velocity, it starts uh, with something and it keeps going down and down and down and down and down. At some point, it will be negative and it start falling again. So we need a way to start our banana with a velocity on Y that will keep decreasing, 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 decreasing it until some point it will be negative, 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 and it will start dragging my banana down. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce gravity to our game. So gravity is something that will keep pulling you down every time, right? It doesn't matter if you're going up or if you're going down, the gravity always keep pulling you down. So if you're going up, the gravity keeps pulling you down, so you're going slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. At some point, your velocity starts to go negative, right? Because you slow down so much that at some point it goes negative, and then it starts dragging you down and down and down and down. At some point, you start going faster downwards, right? So we need to introduce gravity and we need to introduce velocity. I want to keep changing my velocity, right? My banana always have a velocity y but sometimes it is positive, so I'm going up. Sometimes it is negative, so I'm going down. So let me go back here on pixel pad. And to introduce velocity and gravity, we are gonna need to create variables. So what are variables? So a variable is like a box that we can store something inside it. So let me say I'm gonna store uh, the value for my velocity. So I'm saying that my fruit, my banana, is gonna move in one velocity, okay? So I'm can, I can call this box with something. I have to label this box, right? So the label of this box is gonna be velocity, but y, velocity y, because this is gonna be the velocity on the y axis, right? Just up or down. So it's gonna be up or down. So velocity y is the name of my box and my box stores a number. So it doesn't really matter which number we store inside this box. So I can change my velocity y to be three, for example, or to be five or to be six, but I will always use the name of my box to get the value I have inside it. So for example, here, whenever I say that I'm moving my game banana.y uh, and I'm increasing it in one, I could use instead one here, I could use my velocity y variable or box, right? And whenever I use my velocity y here, it would look inside my box and get the number I have inside there. So here it would get six, for example, and then it would use the six here. So let's see how that works in practice actually, right? So let's go here on the start tab 
because whenever we are creating a variable, uh, sometimes we don't need to keep creating the variable again and again and again and again. We just need to create it once, right? So here on the start tab, as this code runs just once, I'm going to create my variable right here. So I'm going to say that my velocity y, right, my velocity on the y axis, because it's just going up and down, is going to be, so for now I'm going to use 1, because that's the same uh, number I'm using here, right? And now I have a variable. And you can see that to create a variable is the same as we did to create a banana. We just give a name and then we say that this is equal something. And that's because my banana is also a variable. So the banana stores a fruit and my velocity y stores a one. And as you could see, for us to move our banana in the loop tab, we had to add game dot to the variable's name right? Because this is transforming this variable into a global variable. So a global variable means that this variable can be accessed from anywhere. So as you can see, I can access now my game.banana from the loop tab, right? So if I want to access my velocity here on the loop tab as well to use the value here instead of one, I can say game.velocity, velocity y, right? instead of just velocity. So now I can use my velocity y here instead of my one. So I'm gonna delete my one and instead I'm gonna use my game dot velocity y. Okay, so you can see now that my game dot banana dot y, so my banana's y position is gonna be my banana's y position plus my velocity y inside the game and my velocity y is one, right? So now whenever I press play, you can see that my banana is still moving up. What if here on the start tab, I change my velocity y to be five? So instead of moving in one, now my banana will move with five. So now if I stop and play my game, my banana moves faster because it's not moving just one, it's moving five. What if I move 15? It's way faster, right? And what if I move minus two. So then it's gonna move down because this is a negative number, right? And if it's negative, then my banana is going down, right? So with the velocity y now, we can change the velocity that our banana goes up and down. So if we have here a positive value, for example, five, it goes up. If we have a negative value like minus three, it goes down. And in the next class, we're gonna introduce the gravity to our game. So then we can have a velocity like 10. So my banana will go up faster, right? But the gravity will keep pulling my banana down. So it will make my banana do like an arc and come back down, right? So make sure you press save on your game and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.